Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. We need to get on here today with some lifestyle favorites. I'm gonna do skincare and lifestyle. I don't think I have any hair. Yeah, just skincare and lifestyle. So I'm just gonna jump right into this and I'm gonna start with skincare. And I'm gonna start with the A313 that a lot of people have been talking about. I love this so much because I can't do tretinoin. I do want to start this by saying if you can do tretinoin, keep doing tretinoin. This is over the counter. It's not going to be the same thing as a prescription strength, but let me tell you what I see with this. This makes my face pink. If I use it for a couple nights in a row, it makes it sting. On my neck, it's been dry all week, exactly like when I used to do tretinoin, and it would get really dry, and then it would do a massive shed. That's what my neck has been doing. I think this is great for somebody like me that can't do tretinoin for whatever reason. I can't do it because it dries my eyes out. Some people don't wanna do it because it irritates their skin. This also would be fantastic. If you take breaks from tretinoin, do this instead. Okay, let's talk about the texture of it for just a second. This is like petroleum. So when I do this, which is most nights, that's what it looks like. I do that, and then you see how shiny that is? It is thick, like a petroleum-based product. But I put it all over my face at about 7 o'clock at night, and I don't go to sleep till about 11 to 12. So I let it sit on my face for a good about four hours before I go to bed and then it's soaked in. So I put this on early in the evening and then in the mornings, sometimes I still do my Abaji retinol in the mornings, but this keeps me nice and active. So I know that's supposed to be mild. I don't know what to tell you, except sometimes something just works. The ingredients may not look like it should be that active, but it is that active on my skin. It's making my skin pink and active, my eyes aren't drying out from it, and I'm able to use a great retinol. I'm going to follow up with the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. One of you girls told me about this a long time ago, like maybe a year ago. And I ordered it, and it's just kind of sat over there until with this A313, my neck has been so parched and dry. This is great. This is very moisturizing. Hold on, I'll tell you what this has in it. But it's just a cream like that. And it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't have any kind of scent. This has colloidal oatmeal that's supposed to relieve itching in eczema type situations. It's got shea butter, which is very, very moisturizing. And Allentoine, which calms and soothes skin. It's fragrance free. It's very clean, no parabens, harsh chemicals or colorants. So this is great. I love that. Okay, next I have a couple of essences and I'll talk about this one from the secret key first. I saw this on Penn Smith Skincare and this is supposed to be a dupe for the SK2, which I think is pretty pricey, like over one, I, I want to say maybe even up close to two. And this is supposed to be a dupe for that. This has got um, like fermentation in it, it's supposed to brighten the skin. And I've just wanted to add an essence. It's supposed to prepare your skin for the rest of its skincare. I don't know if it does that, but I like it. I like adding this step. And it's supposed to brighten. So I cleanse, I tone, and then I do this. And you can do it on cotton. I just put it in my hand and kind of pat it all over my face. And I'm really enjoying having that step. I really like it. Then I picked up this Pun Kang Yule. And this is an essence I heard about on L. Larry Artistry. This one is real watery, you can see. It's just real, it's like putting water on your face. This one is thicker. That looked kind of watery and it's thin, but it's a little bit thicker and feels a little more emollient. I will tell you what I'm loving doing with these. My face is so beat up from all the retinols and the acids, and I'm always doing active stuff on there. Well, Elle Leary Artistry was talking about she loves to do an essence night. So I've started doing that. And when I do it, I do it thinnest to thickest. So I'll do the Secret Key, which is very watery. Then I do the Pun Kang Yule, which is a little bit thicker. And then I do my Snail Mucin Power Essence from Cause RX, and this is the thickest. And this is so soothing. It just feels like I'm doing something really 
nice for my skin and giving it a break from being beat up. So I'm loving these. I'm loving the essences. Okay, next I picked up the Time Revolution Night Repair. Also heard about this on Pinsmith Skincare, and this is supposed to be a dupe for Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. And I think I paid under 30 for this, and it's a nice big bottle. The first ingredient of this is the same thing that's in the Estee Lauder Night Repair and the Lancome Genifique, which I love. This smells and feels exactly like the Advanced Night Repair. Exactly. I feel like I'm using the same product. So if you love the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair, this is such a good dupe for that. Smells the same, feels the same. $28 and you can pick this up at Walmart. This is a lovely product. Okay, my next couple of things are from the kitchen. And the first one I heard about from a girl on Instagram. And it is a hamburger salad. I think it's called a Big Mac salad. And you just put anything on your salad that you would put on a hamburger. I put hamburger meat, tomatoes, pickles, and mine were bread and butter. Um, onions would be good on it, but I didn't have any, any, oh, cheese. And I put Velveeta, so it would kind of taste like American, whatever kind of cheese you would put on the hamburger. Y'all, it was a very good substitute for a hamburger. It was delicious. And I was calling it a hamburger salad, and everybody was like, yeah, that's a Big Mac salad. So you may have heard of that before, but maybe not, because I never had. It is delicious. If you're craving a Big Mac, just make yourself a, you know, like a Big Mac salad, or make your salad the way you would make your hamburger. And it is delicious. Okay, my next favorite is a frother that I bought to go with my new Nespresso, and it's fine Nespresso. It's the same brand. It makes the stiffest, thickest, best froth I've ever had outside of a coffee shop. So let's go into the kitchen and I'm going to show you um, the froth on this frother and we'll have some coffee. Okay, that's the frother. I already made the coffee and I'm going to put half and half in and I want to show you how amazing the froth on this is. Hold on. Just pour that in there, put the lid on, and push the button. I stopped it because it was, <laughs> I must have overfilled it. It was about to go over, but that's okay because it was almost done. Okay, look how much that rose while it was frothing. Okay. That is the most delicious rich froth I've ever had from my house. My daughter loves it so much. A lot of days she'll drive 30 miles to come over here and just get one of these delicious espresso frothy drinks. Okay, my next thing y'all <laughs> is grapefruit. I'm obsessed with grapefruit right now. Um, the first ones I picked up were these by Del Monte Sunfresh. The Del Monte Sunfresh No Sugar Added Red Grapefruit. And I love these. These are so addictive. I will drink the juice right out of this jar and eat about half of this. I will tell you, this only has 40 calories for a serving, but it does have 10 grams of carbs. So I'm having to be real careful with these, but they are delicious. Now these have sucralose in them. It's the last ingredient, but it says that it does have sucralose. And I was telling Ellis for a living, I love these, but I think they met, you know, the carbs in them are leaving me a little bit bloated. I do love them though. I'm just careful with them. And she said, you should pick up the Texas sweet ruby red grapefruits. They're sweet. So I picked up a five pound bag of them. <laughs> they are delicious. They're so sweet. You don't have to put any sweetener on them. And they are so delicious. But be sure if you get them, get the Texas Red Grapefruits. They are so sweet, you don't even need a sugar or sweetener. They're delicious. They're delicious, but if you're in a hurry, these Del Montes are so good. They're addictive like dessert. Okay, next, I have a TV show for y'all. It's called The Hunters, and it is so good. It's half 
serious and suspense with a tiny bit of quirky thrown in. And this is set in the 1970s, but it's about a group of people that in World War II were in concentration camps, the Jewish people that were in concentration camps. And now they're out and kind of getting vengeance. Al Pacino's in it. It was so good. We loved that. Okay, next I have a channel and that is, her name is Violetta underscore fr she's a french makeup artist out of new york but she's from paris and she works for estee lauder i could watch her videos they're like little um artistic movies the ones i've watched she's walking around the city with her cute purse and then she'll go into a little cafe or a little restaurant and she'll unload her purse and she'll put all her little makeup in front of her and then she'll do her eyes and she does a lot with her I don't know why this intrigues me so much, but she does a lot of blending with her fingers. She's the one that I got. She's the one that I got all of these NYX Jumbo Sticks from. I never get tired of watching her. I binge watch her all the time. Okay, and then I have some spiritual things for you. So if you are not a spiritual person or you're not interested in that, you can click off now. But I so appreciate you coming to visit me. And I hope you have a good day. And for those of you who stay... I have a couple of books and a channel. Um, both of these were recommended to me by you girls. And the first one is Beth Moore, Praying God's Word. And this is about breaking free from spiritual strongholds. And it is excellent. So whatever you're struggling with, you could find it in here. If you're struggling with feelings of rejection, feeling unloved, overcoming pride, unbelief, guilt, just anything you might be going through. And then there are pages and pages where she's turned scripture into prayer so that you're praying scripture, which is very powerful. So anytime I'm feeling something, like if I'm having trouble with unforgiveness, <laughs> I'll go to unforgiveness and I would just read out loud. I would read these scriptures that she has turned into prayers um, until I feel better. This is so good. I bought um, a copy for my kids and a couple of my friends. So I love this. I'm um, praying God's word. It's excellent. I mean, we're all dealing with something, struggling with something that could be prayed over. And this pretty much covers it. Okay, and next, Not a Fan by Kyle Eidelman. And this book asks you, are you a fan or are you a follower? And it says, the dictionary defines a fan as an enthusiastic admirer. Fans want to be close enough to Jesus to get all the benefits, but not so close that it requires sacrifice. Fans may be fine with repeating a prayer, attending church on the weekend, and slapping a Jesus fish on their bumpers. Jesus was never interested in having admirers. It's not fans he's looking for. This is excellent. And he's got um, a good sense of humor thrown in here too. Okay, and next is a YouTube channel and um, a specific video. It's called Before the Person relationship goals and there's at least two parts to it and this is by the transformation church my daughter sent this to me and of course i went over and watched it because i was like okay what is she listening to and i wanted to tell you about it because most of us have kids or grandkids who are at a stage where they're looking for a partner and this is talking about who you need to be before you find that partner so if you have um, you know, someone in your life that is at that critical stage of, I want a relationship. I want to find a person. This was so good. And he talks on their level and he's entertaining. And this is just called Before the Person Relationship Goals. And I can't find the preacher's name, but it was excellent. It had a great message for me. And I love watching this with my daughter. So that was excellent. And that is all of my monthly favorites for skincare and lifestyle for the month of February. Y'all definitely down below, let us know some things that y'all are loving so that we can all pick those up and love them with you. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Leave comments and questions down below and I'll talk to y'all soon. Y'all have a good day. Bye.